Driftwood and boat cleats make for some great summer DIYs. Here are five of my favorite ways to use them. For this summery DIY, I was really excited to use my power drill, but sadly, my power drill died halfway through the project. So for those of you who don't have a drill, no problemo, I show you how to do it without one. But for those of you who do, you'll probably just plow through this project a lot quicker than I did. Either way, let's dive on in. You'll need driftwood, boat cleats, spray paint, a drill, and six screws. Poke your screws into an old paper towel roll, leaving just the top exposed. Place them and your cleats on a drop cloth or trash bag outside, and while wearing a mask, spray paint your supplies gold or the color of your choice. Hold the can a couple to a few feet away and add a nice, light, even coat over everything. Be sure to get the sides of your cleats. Allow all of this to dry. Bring everything inside once it's dry and remove your screws from the cardboard. Determine your cleat placement on your driftwood. I'm putting the largest cleat in the middle and two smaller ones on either sides. Measure to make sure they're placed in the center and equidistant apart. Using a drill bit that fits inside the holes of your cleats, create pilot holes where you want your cleats to go. Place your cleat on top, aligning the holes, then place your nail inside the hole. I have to hand screw mine with a Phillips screwdriver, but I can't tell if that's because the wood is so dense or that my drill is a sad sack. You can try your drill for this, and if it doesn't work, use my method of screw driving them in the rest of the way. Do this to all of your cleats. Add brackets to the back of your driftwood on either end. Use these brackets to hang on your wall, and voila! You have a cool and classy wall hook that gives a relaxed beach vibe. My dog's rope leashes look perfect on this. Or simply add your cleats directly to your wall as hooks. Check out my new drill, yo. Driftwood is such a fabulous supply, especially for those summer DIYs. This driftwood and gem centerpiece was my very first HGTV handmade video. Driftwood wall hangings are easy to make and they look really cool hanging on your wall. Make just one or several for a whole collection. Lastly, make an air plant wall garden like I showed you how on my own channel, Mac, a few years ago. Which is your favorite driftwood project? Let me know in a comment below. Like and subscribe if you're digging what you're seeing, and I will see you next week. Bye.